Hello, my name is Oziyama Chukuovi. I'm a senior at the North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics in Durham, North Carolina, and the title of my project was Determining if a combination of treatments ebutilast and interleukin-4 can treat multiple sclerosis using model organism Lumbricus terrestris, or the common earthworm. So to start, multiple sclerosis is what's known as an autoimmune neurodegenerative disease, which is just fancy for saying that the, our immune system attacks uh, fatty tissue in our nervous system called the myelin sheath, uh, whose role is to speed up the rate at which our neurons can communicate with each other and with the rest of the body. So by attacking this myelin sheath, our neuron communication is much uh, severely weakened, and the time it takes for our nervous system to communicate with the rest of the body and with itself is significantly increased. So for my project, I modeled multiple sclerosis and earthworms, and then I also created a drug combination to uh, treat this model of multiple sclerosis in earthworms. So uh, to model multiple sclerosis, I looked at something called refractory period durations, which is just simply the length of time that a neuron cannot send information throughout the body. So I guess for the project of my, for the point of my experiment, my goal was to decrease this refractory period duration to as little as possible. So to model multiple sclerosis, originally, I came across a demyelination drug called lysolecithin, and by applying it to earthworms, I found that there was a significant increase in refractory period duration in the earthworm, which is again saying that it's now taking more time for in the earthworm to um, for its neural system to communicate with each other, which was a success for my multiple sclerosis model. Um, and then that allowed me to move on to the crux of my experiment, which I did by treating all my worms with lysolecithin, so demyelinating them and then splitting them into batches. And each batch was given one of three treatments. The first treatment I used was called ibutilast, which is a phosphodiesterase 4 inhibitor. It is involved in the breakdown of secondary messengers in the cell cycle, and it's thought to be very important in the role of neuroregeneration. The second drug I looked at was interleukin-4, um, which is a neural cytokine, and is very, um, it's, inf it's important in the response of neural inflammation. And then the third drug I made was a combination of those two drugs, interleukin-4 and abutilast, um, putting them together to hope to see if I can combine, um, combine the properties of both. So moving, jumping, jumping quickly to my results real quick, um, I found that when treating my earthworms, my demyelinated earthworms, with the individual interleukin-4 drug, I found that there, while yes, there was a significant difference, a significant decrease in refractory periods from my treated and infected or treated with lysolecithin form of the earthworm, um, I also found a significant difference between my treated and original state of my earthworm, showing that while yes, my drug, the individual drug worked on the earthworm, it didn't work well enough to restore the refractory period durations back to its original state. I also found this with my other drug, Ibutilas, showing that while yes, the drug did work, it didn't work well enough to restore my drugs to its original state, or my earthworms to its original state. However, with the combination drug that I made, I found that while well, yes, um, the drug did work in the sense that there was a significant difference um, between the like, treated and infected form of the earthworm, I also found a non-significant difference between the treated and uh, original state of the earthworm, showing that my drug did work and it worked well enough to restore the refractory periods of that earthworm to the original state. Um, this is a great success, um, is that since my drug work is a great success and has many implications for the field of neuroscience research, especially with multiple sclerosis. And the primary next step that I want for my research is to either look deeper into the mechanisms of why this combination drug is so effective, or to move it onto higher, more complex organisms. Thank you very much.